Good morning. We are back at Grantham. The scaffold has gone up. We were here a few days ago, so the scaffold's gone up. We are going to be getting it up to wall plate height. So we've got about 450 bricks to get down today. Obviously, it's a dead start. I'm going to be my own cameraman today since Drew is going to be really, really busy loading out, flushing up the back of his block work, keeping me going with compo. So massive push today. It's easy to keep a brick layer going when you're on the first lift or even just ground floor, really easy. But when you get to second and third lift, that's when you really find out if they can keep up. At the moment, I've not put my trowel down. So that's a bonus. So I've put the bed on, I've actually put the tire under as well. Yeah. And this lintel is just sitting on at the same height as the house. Let's see what we've got. That is not bad. How much should you say each way? Would it be 200 mil? Um, oh, is it? It's meant to be um, 150 mil bearing. Oh, 150 okay. mil bearing, okay. But by the looks of it, this is a 1950 lintel. It needed to be two meters. Okay. But there was none in stock. So. I'm slightly short of what I need to be, but I can split the difference and give it 120 either side, maybe. Okay. So it's not going to be the end of the world. No. Nah. Um, I've got the tray on. Yeah. Yep. Standard procedure. Got our overlap. Wee poles built in. Yeah. So mm -hmm. that's all cool. Something I want to show you because I've made this mistake a couple of times. You know, when you sit your, tra uh, your lintel on. Yeah. Just stick a brick on, and if your line's down there, just make sure that you've got room on the back of your lintel. Um, basically, just don't make sure your lintel's not too far forward, because sometimes your brick will hit the back of the lintel. Oh, right, I see what okay. you mean, it's past the guide. Yeah, it happened down there, actually. So I had to, like, notch 10 mil off the back of each brick when I did my soldier, so it was a right ball. Eh? First of all, it's cool just to whack your brick there, just dry just to see if you need a big bed or a little bed, okay? Yeah. So at the moment, you can see that that is pretty much good with the line. So I barely need any compo on that, okay? Mm -hmm. So all I normally do is just like a little smear. Not that it'll do much, but it just helps. Because these have got frogs in. That's the frog, yeah? The hole in the brick. Yeah. Yeah. You fill the frog. lay it, well I say you, know, you lay it basically upright, okay, you keep an eye on this uh, perp here, because you can kind of plumb it a bit with your eye, okay, mm -hmm. you make sure that it's not touching this line, it's not touching that line, it's just a fraction away, and then you check it to plumb, okay, so at the moment, that's leaning out like that, all I do, a couple little taps, spot on, okay. And then rinse and repeat. Right, so we're currently working on the front. We're going to get out to lintel height earlier on. Um, earlier, earlier on, we did our soldiers. They kind of went on all right. But I made a first day wanker mistake and it was a bit loose and I decided to still go over them. So I've got this just propping it while it's going off, but it shouldn't be too bad. So, yeah, just be careful when you do your soldier stroke because sometimes you think you know best. You clearly didn't. <laughs> but we sorted it just about. Go on. And we're just going to continue smashing on this front up to Lintelite, and then we'll probably start blasting this in. In a minute, I need you to de snot the back of this wall. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I need you to flush up all these perbs, okay? Yeah, sounds Just so it's nice and airtight and stuff, okay? Quick in. Sit, guys. 
Well, nah, well, you may as well bring some more just for just for banter. Perfect, perfect, perfect. That's a nightmare. That's, yeah, but it's, it's done. It's done well. Yeah, no, it's sound now. Like I say, I've had that batten against it, saving it. So, but solutions. Just annoying. Solutions not, not problems. Not problems. <laughs> we learn from our mistakes. Bro. We're all right. <laughs> yeah, the thing is, when you do your soldiers, as soon as like you need to move one let's say the dot and you need to move them yeah if you may as well just relay them all because as soon as you take one out it kind of acts as like a keystone like it locks it in place yeah. as soon as you take one out and disturb it it's a nightmare to get right morning it is 20 to 9 tuesday i wasn't in yesterday i decided to go on holiday so friday we got all the soldiers on all the lintels on two massive rat backs so all we got to do today is blast this brickwork in here punch a hole through to the existing house find the wall plate height and we should be dobbing the wall plate on today so it should be a nice day and then i'll be handing this over to the joiners to get the roof on so no messing about today let's crack on <laughs> right, we got the brickwork up this morning and now we are setting all the wall plates up. We've got that wall plate set there, right? Easy peasy. Now, Drew, I'm going to show you how to set the wall plate. Ooh. Follow me. Yes, Drew. Right, okay, so we're setting the wall plate, okay? Mm -hmm. This is that bit of timber what we put on over there at the same height as the house wall plate. Can you see that bit of wood there? You see that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The trusses, these bits of timber, what the roof are, they're called trusses, mm -hmm. they're sitting on the wall plate. Okay. Okay. Because this extension roof is going to follow the exact same profile as this roof, what's already here, we put our wall plate on at the existing height. Okay. Yeah. So nothing too much to that. I'm just it over here. Right. So to find the wall plate height, all we do is we put the level on top of the wall plate. And then we measure down, okay? Mm -hmm. So measure down to the block. I've got 140 mil-ish, okay? Yeah. My wall plate is 85 mil. That's including the bed. Okay. And then all we do is go 85, 95. Uh, so basically we've got about a 50 mil slither of block to put on there. Okay. Um, what did I say? 85, 140. 50 mil sliver. So I've got one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, about a 50 mil sliver. So we'll put the 50 mil sliver on here, okay? And then we'll put the wall plate on and it should be level across. So all you do, you stick your level on there, you measure down, you find out how big your wall plate is. In this case, it's 75 mil plus 10 mil, mm -hmm. okay? So that makes it 85 mil. And then you just measure the difference and then that will give you your cut, what you need. But yeah, nothing much to it. So, easy peasy. Sad, right. <laughs> Let's do the cuts. <laughs> Get in 
<laughs> Did you want me to support this side or you're right? Nah, it's cool, brother. Alright, bro. My yep. Just there. Just there, yo, yo, just there. Sounds right. Nice one, buddy. Sick. So all I'm doing now, Drew, literally, yep. I'm just making sure that this top timber is, you can't see, but it's flush with the bit of timber in there. Sorry, you won't be able to see it on the camera. But you have to take my word for it that okay. it is right. Yeah. Um, so all you do now is you just make sure that this is as level as it can be. It's hard because it's like a natural bit of wood. So Yeah, they all... It's a bit... It's a bit hard. Have some curve to The joint will get over it. And then <laughs> another good thing to do, right, is you put a level across it this way. Because mm -hmm. when the joiner does his bird mass onto this, if the timber... It's like leaning like that or like that. Okay. His it's, uh, timber, his roof won't sit on this very well. Right. So it's always good to at least make it level across here. You yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's not bad there. It's plumb in that point. And let's make sure it's plumb here. And it's not far off at all. And there we go. That's basically how you put the wall plate on. Yeah, dead Sad. easy. Honestly, it's not much to it at all. That was not what I expected with the, the wall plates we've had. Yeah. yeah, and then all you do now, you put some lateral restraints, of course, like metal bits of, uh, well, there's metal with holes in, and they like bolt into the wall and to the wall plate. Okay, so it's, it's, it's not like the starter packs, but it's... It's a bit like a starter pack, but an L-shaped. So right. it locks onto this and then locks down onto your block work. Oh, okay. And that will make sure that when you put your roof on, when you've got all the weight of your tiles pushing out, that... It's gripped into your block work, so don't pull it over. Ah. But yeah, sound. I'll point this up, and then we'll do a quick review, and then it's home time. Sound. Sound. <laughs> yes, right. So we have got the brickwork up to height. We've got this wall plate on here. We've done the same on the back there. So this is all ready now for the joiner. He's going to whack the roof on, and then we'll be back here in a couple of days to do the gables. Bit of block work, some gables to do. So about two working days left and then that is us totally done on this job. But yeah, nice easy day today. Yeah, sound. Like, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram because I upload daily there. Sound. Catch you in a bit.